Hi, welcome to RK University Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain you how to calculate earnings per share from the scratch. That means we use EBIT EPS analysis to compute earnings per share. Now, having a thorough knowledge of EBIT EPS analysis is very crucial and helpful for you in analyzing the financial leverage, operating leverage as well as capital structure decisions of a company. Now I'll show you how to calculate earnings per share with an example. Using the values given in this example, we need to calculate earnings per share. So earnings per share denoted as EPS, this equals to EACS that is amount available to common shareholders upon number of shareholders. So how is that we are going to get this ECS is with the EBIT analysis. Now I show you the step wise. First is you need to calculate the sales. So your sales equals to units sold times selling price per unit. So in our example, units sold were 1200 units and selling price per unit is 10,000. So this is 1200 units times 10,000. So this is your sales. Next is you need to calculate the variable cost. So your variable cost equals to units sold times variable cost per unit. So your units sold are 1200 and the variable cost per unit is 5000. 1200 times 5000. So this is your variable cost. Variable cost is 60 lakhs. Then comes your contribution. So contribution equals to sales minus variable cost. So this equals to 1 crore 20 lakhs is your uh, sales minus 60 lakhs is a variable cost. So contribution is 60 lakhs. Then next we need to calculate EBIT that is earnings before interest and tax. Earnings before interest and tax is equals to contribution minus fixed cost. So your contribution here is 60 lakhs and fixed cost is 20 lakhs. So 60 lakhs minus 20 lakhs. So 40 lakhs is the earnings before interest and tax. The next you need to calculate earnings before tax. So your earnings before tax is earnings before interest and tax minus interest. So here this company borrowed 50 lakhs debt on which it pays 12% interest. So your interest component will be interest is 50 lakhs on which 12%. So 6 lakhs is the interest. Then your EBIT is 40 lakhs minus interest is 6 lakhs. 34 lakhs is the earnings before tax. Then you have to calculate earnings after tax. So earnings after tax is earnings before tax times 1 minus tax rate. So here tax rate is 35%. Then your earnings after tax is earnings before tax that is 34 lakhs times 1 minus 0.35 that is a tax rate. Now your earnings after tax is 34 lakhs times 65 upon 100 that is 65 percent. So this is 22 lakhs 10,000 is earnings after tax and as there is no preference shareholders your earnings available to equity shareholders that is our earnings available to equity shareholders or common shareholders equals to earnings after tax. So this equals to 22 lakhs 10,000. Next and final step is to calculate earnings per share. So earnings per share is earnings available to common stockholders that is 22 lakhs 10,000 upon number of common shares. Here the company has a share capital of a 10 lakhs with a face value of rupees 10. So your uh, number of common shareholders will be 10 lakhs upon 10 par value. So this equals to 1 lakh. So here we'll take a 1 lakh. Then the earnings per share is 221 
upon 10. So 22.1 that is rupees 22.1 is the EPS. These are the series of steps that you need to calculate to get the earnings per share. So first you have to calculate the sales, then calculate the variable cost, then calculate the contribution, then calculate the EBIT, then EBT, earnings after tax, earnings available to common shareholders, then finally you need to calculate the EPS. Thank you. Thank you for watching the lecture.